Leanne and I have finished our five days in Fairbanks, Alaska and we are driving along Highway 3 South towards Anchorage. We've got a little over 120 miles to go today to get us to, I think it's Richardson Park? Riley's Campground. Riley's Campground. I knew it started with an R in, or just outside of um, Denali National Park. Mount McKinley, which is the highest mountain in Alaska. Only 30% of all those visitors to Alaska get to see the summit of Denali. We hope we get to see Denali in all its glory with bright, bright blue sunshine. We had a fantastic stay in Fairbanks. There's everything you need as a traveler or indeed to start off your Alaskan wilderness adventure up here. Um, I've seen lots of people with higher campus and I still think that's the smart money from where you are fly into Fairbanks or Anchorage hire someone else's rig drive around Alaska see the sights hand it back because the roads can be a bit average it's uh, everything that you need and if you're traveling this way and want to drive the Alcan you don't need to load up and bring everything there's plenty of fuel there's plenty of shops here there's plenty of food yep it's a bit of a smurfy that you've got to grab everything and bring it up with you. Unless it's your favourites. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's your favourites. We'll see what today brings. Hopefully bears. Or bears. Or moose. Or moose. There's a big frost heave here. This is typical. So 30 odd mile an hour and the rig cruises over it. You feel the suspension working. We've just arrived at Denali National Park and we're pretty stoked. We've both uh, done a very good job backing in, in our opinion. Fairly level site, no amenities here, apart from a washroom down there which we will be using. So we have a full week here, don't we Lee? We do, we're going to trust our solar and just chill build, no noises, yeah, should bears, be, should be lovely. moose. Should be lovely. We've got the, got the rig in and it's level and chocked and now we're going to disengage from the car and probably have some lunch. Maybe go for an explore if it doesn't rain. And it's a really, really nice sight right in the woods. There was a red squirrel here which was pretty nice. So we made it to Denali National Park as I stated before when I was cooking. And it's very exciting for us because it's a very pivotal part of our journey. It's something we've been dreaming of since 2018. And we're very happy to be here, aren't we, Leanne? Yeah, we don't really know whether to do backflips, cartwheels, or run around with a swollen head. It's not, <laughs> not something that we're used to doing because it's quite understated. We've done some remarkable things in our lives together as a couple. And... Um, this, this is another one. This is another one. Yeah. It's Saturday morning and this is week 30 of our journey around the United States of America. We're up early. We're catching the tour bus into Denali. I think we go to mile 62 of mile 90, oh, 94 that's available to the public. You can only drive your private motor vehicle in 15 miles. Everything else is done by the infamous green bus or private tour companies so we're up we're going to go to the bus depot and see what today brings us Good morning, we're doing a self-drive of 
the 15 miles that's available to the general public in Denali today. Range yesterday, most of the day. We've got some more videos done. Lee's learning more and more as she goes along. And today we decided to have a slow start and come out the park. It's a bit of sun around, bit of cloud. We've seen a moose already, which was really cool. I think it was a young one. He walked right across the road in front of us, so that was lovely to see him in full height. We've only seen them in the grasses and yeah. ponds and things, so we've not seen them in yeah. full deep, stature. Deep chocolate brown. So the other day we came into the park in the bus, which was fantastic. A good group of people. The commentary on the bus was wonderful. Uh, we saw a grizzly bear in the sunlight about 15 yards from the side of the bus. And in Denali, they are a ginger blonde. And he was in full sun grazing on berries. And that was an absolute privilege to see. Just moving our way back from mile 15. Stopping at the pullouts. Lee's got a trusty binoculars and she's just glassing the hills and seeing what we can see. Lee's seen a grizzly bear but it was quite far off. Unverified sighting. Unverified sighting, yes. No photographic evidence. This is just a short walk from our camp at Riley's from the Information Centre. It's a suspension bridge. It's wobbling already over the river. This is part of the double loops walk. It's about nine miles and very strenuous. And my goodness, and there's lots of carbs with their mamas, moose I'm talking about there. We've already seen moose tracks this morning down by the river, very fresh. And we don't want to run into a, a mother moose. They can be very protective, especially of their young. And it's very bouncy. Do you think the moose leaves are bad? You should try this. No stabilization on this puppy. <laughs> 